I am so excited about this week's video. I am recording this on Sunday, getting even better now. So today, Dean and I are going to go to Malibu with another one of our couple friends and we are going to hike, cliff jump, rock climb, do all sorts of things and I'm pretty excited. Papi's excited, Dean's excited. It'll be a good day. So yesterday we went on the hike and it was intense. It was like 1.5, two miles, but you're rappelling down, holding onto this rope, walking backwards, trying to climb down. So I had full intention of vlogging the hike, but it ended up being so strenuous, scary, difficult that I had to put my camera away. So I didn't vlog anything except for this of a little bird in the water. But it was a really good time, and then there was a little cliff jump and got up to the cliff. It took me 30 minutes, um, but I did it. I jumped, but unfortunately, I didn't vlog it at all, except for that little bird. I'm about to go play some tennis. I got this skirt from Thread Up. This shirt is from Four Days, which I need to share with you all because it's an amazing brand. And then the bra is Fabletics. I got these shoes in Oregon and Dean said, don't get those, you're never gonna wear them. This is my first time wearing them. <laughs> We just got three new toys from BarkBox. Do you love them? Are you so happy? You love your new toys? He's got all his toys on the floor right now. Tonight for dinner, I am making grilled portobello mushrooms with chimichurri sauce and I don't know what I'm gonna put on the side. Maybe shishito peppers. I was so excited to cook dinner tonight. I have been wanting to make these grilled portobello mushrooms for so long and as I was slicing up the parsley, the power went out. And then it came back and then went back out again. I was kind of worried that we weren't gonna have power for the rest of the night, but it just came back on and pizza is on the way. say thank you to care of for partnering with me for this video i have been taking care of for i think about three years now care of is really focused on the quality the science and the research behind each of their products and each of the recommendations and i love them because they are super transparent about the research and the sourcing behind each one of their products so care of has a personalized quiz and they ask you questions about your diet, your lifestyle, your health goals. And then based on your answers, they use research to make a customized plan for you. Each packet says your name on them. It has a little fun fact or quote. So what I got in my packet, I got B-complex. I am vegan or still in the transition process of being vegan. Um, so the B-complex is for my diet. I have iron for energy. Also, because I am not eating meat, I am very low in iron. Ashwagandha for stress. And I have a probiotic blend in here as well. That is for my skin, but also for digestive issues. I just want a healthier gut. I want better skin. I want to be less stressed. So I have a lot of goals, but luckily with Care Of, I'm able to hit all of those goals. And they have an eco-friendly mindset, which you all know I love. These packs are compostable. I also got some plant protein. They have different flavors. I got the chocolate. The plant protein is for fitness. And I got some super berry dietary supplements. These are for my skin. And then I also got creatine, and this is for fitness as well. So head to Care of Sight, take their quiz, and find out what supplements and vitamins are recommended for you. And you can use my code for 50% off. I will also put the link down below and my code down below as well. I just got Papi this snuffle pad and he absolutely loves it. I just love to see how far he's come from when we first fostered him in January to now. You're like a whole new pet, Babs. So because the power went out last night, I wasn't able to make the portobello mushrooms, but I'm going to attempt to do so again tonight. Here is the chimichurri grilled portobellos. Put some toast on the side and grilled some shishito peppers. And a very excited boyfriend. <laughs> 
This terrible closet has been giving me so much trouble. I try to organize it. I just bought these cheap little containers from Target. And I wish I had taller and skinnier ones, but this was the only thing I could find. It's just, I cannot get this closet organized for the life of me. We used to have Dean's skis in here and I just took them out and hid them behind the couch. There are his skis. I've been putting this off for days, so now I'm finally doing it. I think it's as good as it will possibly get. I've got Dean's parachute, camera bag, his little uh, physical therapy thing, skateboards, pappy stuff. I think that's uh, the best we'll do. And then these roll out, so if I need to take them out, there's one behind it, and then there's another storage thing behind that. Basically, I need to get rid of some things. Dean alert, my handsome, wonderful boyfriend, is cooking me dinner. Not for the first time. He's cooked for me a couple times while we're camping in the van. He makes incredible ramen, maybe the best ever. This is the first, like, non-fan meal he's ever cooked me. What could it be? Whoa, pierogies with what? What else is that? Sauerkraut? Dean just left for golf and I am about to go play some tennis. I was watching the video back of me playing tennis a couple days ago. I'm so bad and my form is awful, but my friend Tori and I, we are going to get lessons and get an instructor and I will be better, hopefully. I just got back from tennis and I'm going to make a vegan quesadilla. I went a little crazy with the vegan cheeses and dips yesterday. So I got this from Trader Joe's. This is a new vegan cheese that they started carrying. And I just got Violife's feta, Violife's mature cheddar slices. Also haven't tried this vegan buffalo dip. This is my favorite salsa. And then this is the vegan sour cream. It's actually so good. I'm super impressed by the new Trader Joe's cheese because it really melts so well. Most vegan cheese just doesn't melt that great, but this, so good. And the buffalo dip, incredible. Here are the things from Zara that I got. I love these satin shorts. This really cute corseted pink crop top, this cropped button up, and then I got this nude bodysuit. And I got four other things, but they didn't work out. So these are the four that remain. I am about to head to Redondo Beach to paddleboard for the day. And I am very excited to get some sun, to get a little workout. I just got back from paddle boarding. I felt like I just needed to put on a face mask and I just got this peel off bubble mask. So it is bubbling on my face as we speak. It is so strange. I can hear the bubbles and I can feel them. The mask is off and paddle boarding was so much fun. Such a good workout. I saw so many seals and, or sea lions, sea lions. Okay, they are sea lions. So we saw a bunch of sea lions and they are I think my new favorite animal. They were so cute. They reminded me of like bigger versions of Pappy. I just recorded this whole thing and I went to stop the record and realized that my memory card was sitting right next to the camera. So here I go again. So Dean and I were going to go on a long week long van trip and I've been super excited about it, but we decided to push it out for a little bit. So instead we are going to go on a two day camping trip in the van just sleep in the van remotely, maybe rock climb a little bit. My idea for this video is to show you guys how I pack for a week in a carry-on because I am pretty good at packing lately. Dean and I were in Europe in December, January. We were there for two weeks and I only packed a carry-on and then like a duffel bag. I've just, I think, really mastered the art of packing lightly. And this doesn't work for everyone, but I think everyone can do it. I already packed this and like went through everything that I packed in here and showed you guys how this was done. My first tip on packing lightly is using these packing cubes. I put everything in here. I put my rock climbing pants in here. I put some sweats in here. I usually 
pack this a lot more than it is now. We're only going for two nights. So you can see, this is going to save you so much space while you are packing. You can pack a lot more with these. And it's really easy to organize. I've got my sweats in there. I've got my undergarment socks in here. This is from Eagle Creek. I got them, my grandma got these for me three or four years ago from REI. So that is the first tip. I think you have to have these while packing if you wanna pack light. Since we're just camping and only going for two nights, I am just gonna pack this bag from Hammett. I also have this bag, same print, but in a duffel bag, and that's typically what I travel with. And I love these bags because when I am flying and have a carry-on, these have the little, I don't know what these are called, trolley something? But the little pocket where it can slide right onto your suitcase. I have a bad back and I don't like to carry my bag throughout the airport, so I just slide it on my suitcase and push it along. I have this bin, it's not super organized right now. It has everything that I could potentially need for travel. So I've got these little squeeze bottles from Function of Beauty. And hotels just, they don't always have the best shampoo and conditioner and body wash. I got Dean Seven, he loves his. And they're labeled body wash, conditioner, body lotion, and shampoo. But I won't have access to a shower, so I won't be packing these because we'll be in the van. I've got a toothbrush in here, toothpaste, travel size perfume. My next tip is taking advantage of Sephora's samples or any samples. This is Kiehl's moisturizer and I got it from Sephora. So I can just bring this on the trip with me. It's super small. I'm saving a ton of space. I don't need my huge full-size face wash or you know night cream. I also love these little travel guys from Amazon. You can get a huge pack of them. They also have little squeeze bottles, spray bottles. They have all sorts of things. And I will put my different skincare that I don't need the full size of. I think this is really great to have too. Just like a little container, maybe more organized than I have it now, but a container of everything that like, oh, I need this moisturizer. Oh, I need heat protectant spray. I need poopery. That is my second tip. And I guess final tip. I mean, I'm packing super light. We're only going for two nights. And, and this was supposed to be like, how I pack for a weekend to carry on, so I'm improvising here. And honestly, that's all I have for this week's video, so I will see you guys next week.